The ad claims Republican candidate Zach Nunn took thousands of dollars from a Chinese government-owned company and supported policy that put China over Iowans. Take a look. Zach Nunn took thousands from a Chinese government-owned business, and Nunn supported a tax break that gave the company more than a million of our tax dollars, and worse, helps the Chinese beat out Iowa businesses. Federal election records show in March, Nunn did take $2,500 from Syngenta Political Action Committee. The agriculture company was acquired by ChemChina, a Chinese state-owned company, in 2017. But Nunn pushed back on the ad highlighting his efforts to stand up to China and Axne's own relationship with Syngenta. We spent the last year working counter-China operations as a fellow with the U.S. Air Force. And here's a situation where in 2019, Cindy Axne actively courted an ag-based company called Syngenta. But when they endorsed and supported me, uh, now all of a sudden she feels like this is some kind of a sellout. Axney's visit to Syngenta in West Des Moines can be seen in a 2019 post on her official Facebook page. Axney's campaign spokesperson released a statement on the ad today, writing, quote, Since day one of Zach Nunn's political career, he's put himself before Iowans. Now he's been caught accepting Chinese money and selling out Iowans. This is another example of how Zach Nunn looks out for himself, even if it means leaving Iowans behind. Another thing to note, Nunn is not the only Iowa Republican to take money from Syngenta. Federal election records show that in the 2022 election cycle, Representatives Randy Feenstra, Marionette Miller-Meeks, Ashley Hinson, and Senator Chuck Grassley have each taken at least $1,000 from Syngenta's Political Action Committee. Amanda Rooker, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.